Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Tari The Beat and for this video, I'm going to study! I know it sounds boring but I'm really excited about this video because I will be studying this flash drive that was given to me by my friend. A lot of people have been asking me what to study or what to look for online in order to have a basic knowledge or background in computers. So this video will be the answer to that question. Now this flash drive was created by Learn Computer Today and it consists of 15GB worth of video tutorials on the foundation of computers. You can check it out on Lazada. Also, the instructor, Michael Tan, has more than 15 years of experience in the field of IT and he is the founder of Learn Computer Today. So I'm really excited to see what he has in store. I have mentioned on my previous video that I've been so unproductive and actually before college, wala talaga akong background or knowledge when it comes to computers. Since I have one month left till my online classes start, this week will be the perfect opportunity for me to study again so I can be prepared. So this video will have a study with me kind of vibe. So you guys go ahead if you want to study or do something productive as well while the video is being played. Pero dadadala ko pa minsan-minsan kasi I want to show you how the product works. What I like agad about the whole concept of the flash drive is that it's easily accessible, meaning you order ka lang online, darating sa bahay mo, and you can study it at your own pace and at your own time, at kahit wala kang internet, pwede pwede mong aralin. So this flash drive, as I said, it has 15GB worth of video tutorial, so mahaba siya. Kaya ang ginawa ko talaga, one week ako nag-aral. My first impression and thoughts about this will be at the end of the video. Uh, so wag na natin patagalin pa. Ito ako nag-aaral for one week. So let's get started! So for day 1, my target is finishing ranks 1 to 3. This is what the homepage looks like. Each rank consists of 3 to 5 videos. So after copying everything from the flash drive to my computer, I started with rank 1. For day 2, I went full nerd mode and ditched putting on makeup since I was just going to study. I continued rank 4 and decided to set my target to rank 7. Ang mag-judge sa handwriting ko pangit. <laughs> Kaya talaga ako nag-com sa ino para di ako magsulat. Usually, I take notes with different colored pens instead of highlighters to help me remember stuff. But ever since the quarantine, hindi ko na nakuha yung school supplies ko from the house I've been staying at. So, mga ginamit ko dyan, mga pakalat-kalat lang na pens. Day 2, I learned all about data allocation and I finally reached the introductions to computers. Congratulations! Umabot na tayo dito sa introduction to computers. So, nakakatuwa na makarating tayo dito kasama ang isa't isa, no? Sa introduction to computers naman, the instructor gave examples ng input, storage, and output devices. He also talked about artificial intelligence and what's inside of a CSU. He also showed the parts of a motherboard and he also stated some safety precautions when it comes to handling hardware. I'm actually pretty happy about day 2 kasi I was so productive na natapos ko siya from 4 to 7B. My goal for day 3 was to rewrite my notes from rank 1A to 7B to Microsoft OneNote because I don't want to write anymore. <laughs> Microsoft OneNote is a digital note-taking app and as you can see, I also used this software when I tried to study a week before college. After rewriting, I finished rank 7, which is focused on the mapping of the motherboard. And I saw that rank 7 and above is more on hardware. I have 5 ranks left and it's day 4!
My second to the last day is the day I enjoyed the most because ranks 8 to 10 were all about studying Boolean logic gates and assembling a system unit. A new end, diba? Me and you, diba? Ibig sabihin, ikaw at ako, may forever. Walang forever. May forever. So, ikaw at ako. Wala talaga ako idea sa hardware and I learned a lot after reaching my target for day 4. The instructor talked about microchips and explained the specs of an Intel i7 processor for me to know the terms and for me to know what to look for if I'm looking for a processor in the future. I just want to note that Rank 10 has 7 videos instead of the usual 3 to 5 and those videos were focused on assembling a system unit for desktops and laptops. Hey guys, it's day 5, meaning it's my last day of studying this flash drive. Actually, yung kolong ko lang talaga is yung rank 11 and rank 12. And I'm really excited to finish this kasi ano ko nang gustong sabihin na thoughts and first impressions ko about the flash drive. Alam you guys, excited na ako taposin to kasi wala na akong uh, maisip na idea kung anong pwede ilagay sa montage. Kasi diba, like for the past few days, yung clips lang puro ako nagtatype, ako nakikinig, wala na akong idea kung ano pwede ko pang ilagay. Kasi ganun lang naman talaga yung tura ko pa nag-aaral ako. So like, ah! Oh! Noong una talaga, nag-hesitate ako ituloy yung video na to. Kasi pag, syempre, pag tinuloy ko yung video, meaning I have to look presentable every day, meaning I have to make up every day, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. And hindi, ayoko siyang gawin kasi pag nag-make up ako every day, it will harm my skin. Pero naisip ko na lang na hayaan ko na lang kasi naka-fast forward naman lagi yung video ko. Ewan ko, natakot ako na natatakot ako na pag nag-post ako ng video na wala akong makeup, mababasha ko and stuff. Kasi syempre, it's really um, my skin. It's one of my biggest insecurities. Kaya, ayun. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for not judging how I look like. Like, my skin is not perfect talaga. Like, yung um, Korean or glass uh, skin gla glass 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 skin? Glass skin? Di ko alam. For my last day, I studied the rest of the ranks, rank 11 and rank 12. Rank 11 has 8 videos focusing on software, including how to install an operating system, techniques to use in using Windows 10, different types of viruses, and the topic of data recovery. I'm a virus. Wanna try? No. Can you read me? Nope. You can't. What? See? Why did you pass? But deleting your phone with just oh no, no. Sa rank 12 naman, there were two virtual games I was able to play. And yung game na yun, tungkol siya sa pag-build ng PC. It's like a PC simulator. And sobrang na-enjoy ko siyang laruin. Kasi siguro hanggang game na lang ako mag-build ng PC. <laughs> after finishing the tutorials in rank 12 and after playing the game, the instructor is gonna talk about careers and certification, tips on freelancing, businesses, etc. The instructor gave advices about his job interviews and it was really inspiring to hear his stories. So for my first impression of the product, no una ko siyang tinignan at kinalikot, mukhang covered yung talaga lahat. It's perfect for people who wants to gain knowledge or background in the hardware aspect of technology and for those who wants to get a head start on a computer-related program. Akala ko rin no una, pagbukas ko ay puro folders lang siya nakalagay video 1, video 2, pero hindi. Pagbukas ko po ay kompleto po siya ng program na homepage, na instruction, and na doon na lahat ng kailangan mong malaman para malaman mo kung paano, kung paano nag-work yung flash drive na to. Yun lang yung first impression ko of the product kasi wala din naman ako medyo i-expect since uh, isa lang siyang flash drive. Now, yung thoughts ko. Yung una kong thought, like I said kanina, it's really perfect for beginners. Although it doesn't cover everything, it covers enough things to know or what you, what beginner should know in the field of technology. I also want to note that it doesn't teach you how to use a programming language. Hindi siya like tutorials on how to use C++ or Python. Wala siyang ganon. Wala rin siyang mga kunyari, binary to hexadecimal. Wala siyang mga ganon. Kasi this flash drive course, it's more on the background of things. Like saan ginagamit ang binary and how is it applied to images, videos, and audio. Kumbaga, how does a computer work when it comes to images, videos, and audio. Meron din dito uh, parts ng system unit and meron din dito mga revolution from uh, vacuum tubes to microchips, yung mga ganun-ganun. So, like I said, it's more on the background of 
things. Kaya nga naman talaga tayo matuto ng isang bagay. It's good to know kung paano ito na-invent, sino nag-invent, yung mga ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. I also like how organized this flash drive is kasi minsan pa nagsiself-study tayo sa internet or naghanap tayo ng video sa YouTube, hindi natin alam kung anong pipiliin doon. Dito sa flash drive na to, nakalista na lahat. Pipinutin mo na lang at sunod-sunod na yon at yun, you're gaining information, you're gaining knowledge, and stuff like that. Also, ang maganda rin dito, pwede mo i-replay-replay. Ina-explain ng instructor in details talaga. Minsan kasi, pag nag-self-study din tayo, we just look at the diagram without knowing its parts and its function. And huwag kayong mag-alala kasi taglish naman yung language ng instructor. Gusto ko rin ma-share na dati yung laptop ko na infestion ng ants, meaning ang daming ants sa loob. And... I was panicking kasi hindi ko naman alam kung anong laman ng laptop ko in case na gusto ko buksan, gusto ko ayusin. So after this, actually, wala, nang, wala nang langgam sa ano ko, laptop ko. Okay na siya. After this, after studying this flash drive, alam ko na kung anong laman ng laptop ko. Like, ano yung tura ng RAM niya, ano yung tura ng motherboard niya. Another thought of mine is, it's not for people who has a short attention span. Nahirapan ako dito, especially nung first lessons. Kasi yung first lessons na aral ko na, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice to study and review them again. Pero, minsan hindi ko naman malaya, nagka-Facebook na pala ako, nagka-Twitter na pala ako. Na kailangan ko ulitin yung video kasi hindi na ko ako nakikinig. At first, medyo na ano ako surprised kasi... Yung videos, it's like a montage of clips and pictures, tapos may voiceover lang ng instructor. Pero nung tumagatagal yung araw na inaaral ko siya, nagets ko kung bakit ganun yung price. I really, really appreciate the homepage kasi it guided me throughout the course. Pati sobrang detailed talaga ng tutorials niya. Pati yung games, sobrang natuwa ako sa games kasi yung games na yun, uh, napapractice ko yung skills ko na gusto ko improve especially when handling software or building a computer. Yun lang naman yung thoughts ko. I really liked it and gusto ko mapasalamat sa gumawa nito kasi yung concept ng flash drive, it's really nice and good. Especially na nasa quarantine tayo ngayon and di lahat nakaka-access sa internet pero gusto pa rin matuto they just have to buy the flash drive. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Sana nakatulong to sa inyo. And if you guys have any suggestions on what videos I should do next, comment it below. Kung may mga tanong kayo, comment nyo lang. PM nyo lang ako. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Lahat-lahat na notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. And I see you in my next video. Bye!